Hi everyone, thanks for coming back to check out another video. Today we are going to be talking about least common multiple, or LCM. By the end of this lesson, we will be able to define what a least common multiple is. We will learn three different methods to solve for the LCM, and we'll apply the LCM in real life scenarios. First, you have to understand what the least common multiple is. The LCM is the smallest multiple that two or more numbers share. It's important because finding the LCM can help with managing supplies, planning events, adding and subtracting fractions, and even more. This matters because think about when you want to plan something, like a party or an event, and you're trying to figure out what time everyone can meet. Maybe one friend is free every five days and another is free every seven days. The LCM can tell you when you'll be able to be free on the same day. Let's check out what I mean. When we're working through the LCM, there are three strategies that we're going to focus on. We have the listing method, the cake or the ladder method, and prime factorization. First, we're going to jump into the listing method. Let's take a look at what numbers we are going to list. I have six and 10. I need to find the LCM of these, two of these two numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just basically going to list their multiples. So you have to understand that the multiples are basically just skip counting with the number. Here's my multiples of six. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, and 60 and it could continue on, but I don't know that we'll have to. The multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and so on. But again, we probably don't have to go much further. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to identify the numbers that these two lists have in common. So I'm going to circle my 30s because I see 30 in both rows. I'm also going to circle my 60s because I also see 60s in both. Now this is where you're going to have to use your thinking skills. Remember, least common multiple. The word least means the smallest. So I only have one least common multiple here, and that would be 30. LCM equals 30. Let's try a different method. The cake or the ladder method. Whenever you're working with this method, you are going to write your two numbers, and then you're going to draw like a little L around them, kind of like a backwards inverted L. Then you're going to think to yourself, what number can I pull out of both six and 10? What's a factor of both of these numbers? Well, I know that I can divide six by two, and I can also divide 10 by two. So I'm going to put a two on the outside. Six divided by two gives me 3, and 10 divided by 2 gives me 5. Now, I can't break down those 3 and 5 any further because 3 and 5 have nothing in common. So what you're going to do here is you're going to make an L outside. Now I see that my 2 over here, my 3, and my 5 are all really within my L. That means that you're going to multiply 2 times three times five to find the LCM. The LCM is 30. So even though we used a different method, we still got the LCM to be 30. Let's check out our final method, which is prime factorization. For prime factorization, we are going to write six and 10, and we're going to have to break these numbers down into their factors. Let's do six first. 6 breaks down into 2 and 3, because 2 times 3 is 6. Now 2 and 3 can't be broken down any further, so we're going to leave that as is. Let's hop over to the number 10. Number 10 can be broken down into the numbers 2 and 5. And again, 2 and 5 cannot be broken down any further, so we're going to leave them as is. Then we're going to draw our Venn diagram. This compares things that are similar and different. Put your numbers on top so you know which side is which, and then we're going to distribute the numbers into the Venn diagram. Let's cross off our twos because they share a two, so I'm going to stick a two right in the middle of my Venn diagram. Then we have a three left, so I'm gonna put the three on the six side, and we have a five left, so I'm gonna put the five on the 10 side. 
Everybody following? Now, once you find these three numbers, or however many numbers you come up with in your Venn diagram, what you're going to do is you're going to multiply all the numbers within the Venn diagram to find your LCM, and our LCM is 30. So even though we used a different strategy this time, all three strategies got us to the LCM of 30. This is a quick comparison of the methods if you're trying to decide which one you want to use. The listing method is great for small numbers, but can get tricky with larger numbers. The cake and the ladder method is efficient for larger numbers, especially in real world situations. And prime factorization is best for practicing our factorization skills, but we have to know our factors and we have to be able to visualize the breakdown of the numbers. I'm going to leave you with a practice problem and I would love to see if you can solve this all on your own. Max and Olivia are both training for a race. Max runs every four days and Olivia runs every six days. If they both run today, how many days will they both run again on the same day? Go ahead, rewind this video, review your steps, choose your method, and good luck finding the LCM.